Oh, you're my little climber, aren't you? Oh my. Wow. Presley's really excited. All right, we are at Artist Point. This right here is a very historic place because this is where we started it all. Look oh my God, what? Right at the front of that truck. Imagine what kind of view they're getting. He's really big. Look how different that looks than everything else that we've seen today. Boom. Congratulations, you are now officially the Yellowstone Junior. Yay! Oh, grizzly bear. Oh, grizzly bear. <laughs> you are always hiding. Good morning. Uh, this time it actually is morning. Uh, we did get out. Um, it is 9.30. It is still later than we wanted to be out. And now we are dealing with this. We've already been in line for what? Five minutes? Yeah, five minutes or so. It's moving, but there's quite a line. And we still need to take our photo in front of the sign. So it's going to be a minute before we can get actually get on the road. So yesterday we were going to do the North Loop and we ended up only getting as far as Norris Geyser Basin. So we didn't do very well yesterday with our list, but we did now see quite a few see, things. Now we're going to see a canyon Yeah. Yellowstone. So we're going to head to Canyon Village and check out the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone and um, get pull up there. That's what they're doing, I think. So we're, we're talking about the sign. We tried to take, we did take a picture the first day going in, but there are a whole bunch of shadows from the trees on the sign and it just didn't really look good. I don't, I don't like that kind of photo. So we wanted to wait until morning to do this. And so now we're gonna do it here, along with this big old line, so. But Smokey the Bear's message is relevant and important. What Smokey wants you to do is to be careful with things like cigarette butts and campfires. Things that might start fires in places that are populated or dangerous places. And of course, that is extremely important. But Smokey knows that not all fire is bad. These kids got their junior ranger books. You can already hear it. Let's go see it. Oh, you're my little climber, aren't you, Angel? <laughs> you made it! Oh my! Presley's really excited. She likes waterfalls, don't you, Angel? Yeah.
So now we just drove right around the corner and we are, it's basically when you start to turn towards Artist Point, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Um, as soon as you pull in, there's one last quick little stop and you can walk over and you can see the other side of the waterfalls where we just were. So that's what we're doing. Enjoy the view. Presley, do you see where we were over there? Thank you. I'm not allowed to watch you. Hey. Hey. Rage monster. <laughs> Hashtag dude perfect. Right here, and we're just gonna walk out right here. All right, cool. All right let's go. Let's go, baby girl. All right, we are at Artist Point, about to get to the point. It's already stunning. Looks like this is Ribbon Lake. So uh, we made it to Artist Point, and this is just absolutely amazing. I won't be able to zoom in. I already got some photos already and some video, but I'm gonna turn around here so I can be in the shot as well. But look at that absolutely gorgeous view. Not me. Yes, you. <laughs> gorgeous view right there. <laughs> and also the gorgeous view of the waterfall. It is just unbelievable to, to think that people came here and they would just sit here and they would do paintings of this exact view of the waterfall and then the paintings are what people would use to bring them to want them to come to Yellowstone. So this is just an unbelievable view. It's actually breezy. It feels good even though we're in the sun. But is that absolutely amazing or what? I highly encourage, if you're going to come to Yellowstone, this is something you do not want to miss. This right here is a very historic place because this is where we started it all. We have a gentleman by the name of Thomas Moran. He was a uh, city slicker, but uh, came out with the Hayden Expedition. Didn't know how to ride a horse when he first got out here, but had to figure that out pretty quick. He and a gentleman by the name of William Henry Jackson were on the north side of the canyon. They came down and Thomas Moran did some sketches. He pretty much uh, thought this would be a pretty make a pretty good painting, and that's exactly what he did. Thomas Moran in this painting influenced a gentleman we may have heard of. His name is Ulysses S. Grant, the president. And he went ahead and signed the Yellowstone National Park Act on March 1st, 1872, which created the world's first national park and America's national park. Now guys, we're here today Quite a few years later, we have 435 national parks, 117 monuments, and it's all because of where we're at right now. We as Americans usually live within four hours of a national park. You can get to, to a national park or monument very easily. But guys, I will tell you right here on the 150th anniversary year of Yellowstone and that first national park, it would not have happened without you guys looking that way and some crazy city slicker who couldn't ride a horse doing a painting or two. Check it out.
this is the one from Artist Point. So the waterfalls are over there. If you follow the canyon and you look here, that. Can you see those people over there? Where are they? Can you see those people? That's Artist Point right at the tip of those trees. Can't zoom in any further. Think of this. Go over here and go get in the flowers. Go on this side right here. Go right here. <laughs> Love it. Imagine what kind of view they're getting. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh wow. They're just like, excuse me, I know. Here we go. Holy cow. He's big. He's really big. How cool is that? <laughs> different that looks than everything else that we've seen yeah. today. Do you know what mammoth means? Massive! So this is where all the damage was. That, yeah, that's so yeah this is like the whole yeah. city. People living here. Cabins of all the workers. 
What is well, it? Well, talking to the elk. The visitor center is over on our right. Don't worry if we miss it. It's easy to come back to no, see some elk loops up ahead. foot nine you're eight years old and you're almost five foot tall it's crazy dude wow hey can you help it's pretty cool huh i bet you carry that in your head all there yeah imagine two of those <laughs> one on each side That's a special one because we're here on the 150th anniversary of the National Park. Cool. This is the last one, guys. We leave tomorrow. Last stop. Wow, look at this. Looks like snow. It looks like dirty snow, huh? Look at that tree has basically just been killed because it's hot springs all around it. Look at those ones up there, look at those trees. Isn't that weird looking, buddy? back to Ava and then we head out tomorrow so we are at Mammoth and it is Mammoth isn't it it's pretty big isn't it buddy I'm gonna turn it around a little bit to get some perspective but this is definitely very big luckily we'll be going downstairs on the way back because we're heading all the way upstairs right now let me flip this around now you can see how big this is. So we were running low on time again today. This park is so huge. We just got to Mammoth Springs and we looked at the trail map and we're like, there's no shade, it's, it's in the middle of the day. Um, and we need to get back for dinner. We don't want to spend money on food again tonight. So so Michael's going to get to the truck. He's going to pick us up. I think we're going to be able to view it from the top. We're going to head home and that's going to be it for us for Yellowstone. 
it's been awesome. So, I mean, this park is unbelievable. Oh, grizzly bear, oh, grizzly bear, <laughs> you are always hiding. <laughs> grizzly bear, oh, grizzly bear, our worlds are never colliding. <laughs> Parking space, oh, parking <laughs> space. There we go. So we decided to drive up here and to the overlook. So that's what we're doing right now. Hopefully you guys can get some good views of everything. No messing around. No messing around up here. Look at that. We could have made you walk all the way up here, huh? <laughs> this right here looks like just like a whole nother planet. No. It's like Mars. NASA has been lying to us. Mars. So this is this looks is like a Mars mixed up with the moon. Yeah, it does. Looks like Mars mixed up with the moon. That's right, right. Like Calvin, around good shot of the sonic socks turn around buddy let's see your socks oh yeah sonic points yeah this old girl was walking up those stairs at the end there she goes oh man there's cars up here <laughs> i think she realized she walked all the way up there and she could have driven grizzly <laughs> 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 This would be a perfect place for a grizzly bear. And it's starting to get in the evening too. So where are you? So slow down and be ready for a quick turn. The loop is only about 150 yards long, but it takes us right through the boulder fields. Look at this, guys. This is from the big landslide. Look at the size of these boulders. This for sure reminds me of Frozen 2. <laughs> he said a land of giants. It makes you feel like you're in a land of giants. So this was a huge rock slide at one point. All from a big eruption up top of the top of the mountain. It sent all these rocks coming down the mountain. Just crashing. Look at all cool. Look how cool this is. Yeah, it feels like we're in another world right yeah. now. Yeah. We, 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 we've, <laughs> we've seen, we all of a sudden entered into a completely different type of world. But this is all just rocks that fell down the mountain. They call it a rock slide. And if it was just earth and land, then it would be a landslide. And then if it was snow, it would be called a... Avalanche. That was cool. Glad you did that little turn.